This is the introduction to a idea that Chris and I have been trying to figure out how to teach for two, three years now when we realized that the workshops were going to continue on and, and be something, and that's shared worlds. This is the introduction to the shared worlds class. This is going to be nine months long. That's the shortest that we figure we can do it and not overwhelm you know everybody with uh, you know so you can take other workshops keep learning keep writing keep doing all kinds of other stuff holidays all that sort of stuff um, but it will be going on sort of kind of there all the time for nine months this is developing shared worlds has so much to it. It's why we couldn't put it down into one regular workshop like we've done so many other things. I mean, um, numbers of things we've done like in the lecture and then expanded it into a, a six-week workshop or the, the middle ground we did the pop-ups and things like that. Um, the licensing transition we're doing for an entire year. This is an offshoot of the licensing. Um, this, th how to figure out how to finally teach this came out of because we shifted our focus from writer focus being a publisher to licensing company. And so suddenly the shared world part of this just got clear. <laughs> and so over in the licensing transition, which is still possible to sign up for, that's going on for an entire year, clear till next July. This will go clear till next July also. Um, but the licensing transition has no assignments, has nothing. It's just kind of an ongoing, lots of lectures and what Chris and I learn. Um, this is going to have some assignments um, scattered along that you'll have lots of time to do them. So no panic, you know, don't think they're going to get in the way of any other workshop. They won't. Um, and also possible writing for some anthologies, um, basically for Cave Creek. Okay, And so here's what it was going to be. This is a learning class. This is an actual class on how to do shared worlds. Number one, you're going to learn how to write for them. Okay, That's a, a very important. There's all kinds of stuff. Now realize Chris and I have written for shared worlds our entire career. I mean, our entire career. I wrote, I wrote, you know, down in the level of like what Cave Creek will be. Cave Creek is is sort of something I'm come up with. It's going to be developed and show you how it's developed during this class. But it is it is Twilight Zone set here. Now I already do that with Bryant Street, my own subdivision horror story type of thing. But Cave Creek can be romance. You know, you know, like in romance, those of you who read romance, they'll often have a setting and it'll be two or three books in a world, in a setting, usually three. And they'll have three relationships inside of like a small town or something. We're going to be doing that. We're going to have lots of stuff like that inside this Cave Creek. But it'll be number one, learning how to write this. Star Trek, Star Wars. Chris wrote Star Wars. I wrote Star Trek. Men in Black. All of that is shared world. It's all shared world. There's so much going on in the indie movement now where writers are creating worlds and then hiring ghostwriters and other people to write in these worlds. There's a trick to it, to do it well, to be one of the best ones. I was for a decade one of the top writers in shared world in the nation. Publishers came to me when they needed things done in somebody else's world, in somebody else's voice, in somebody else's whatever. I was the go-to person for publishers, not for other writers. I never worked for other writers. I always worked for the major publishers. Um, and so we know how to do this, okay, a lot. But that's how to write for it. That's only one factor of this. The second thing on is how to, how to build your own, how to build the shared world. What do you need? Um, the world building itself. If it's that kind of shared world, what do you need? What goes into building a world? You're going to see that as, as Cave Creek develops through this whole thing. Um, the administration of shared worlds. You, you, a lot of writers just think, well, I can do it, and then they don't even think about the administration of it. I mean, for Star Trek alone, there were four or five people between Pocketbook and Paramount when I was writing that were involved in just the administration of that shared world in the books forget the television shows and the movies, just in the books, just in keeping it all together. Um, and so there are lots and lots of levels. First things, one of the first things we're going to do is learn the different levels and types of shared worlds. Most people don't realize that there's more than one or two types of shared worlds. Cave Creek is going to be a type. 
Star Trek is another type. And there's a whole mess in between of different types that you can develop as an indie writer now, and you can license. This will have a lot of licensing aspects to it. What do you do with this? How do you even get around licensing it? Okay, What's the value? Another thing is, what's going to be the value to your company, to you as a writer, to your bottom line, the IP, the intellectual property aspect of this, the, the, uh, the rights controls, and who controls what rights to what. You guys will be able to write into Cave Creek, and then you'll, you'll still have control of your own stories. Um, and that's an aspect of one of these types of shared worlds. Pulp House, for lack of a better way of looking at it, is a shared world. The world is my attitude about fiction and what I'm looking for. But it, you know, when, when you're trying to write for a Pulp House, it's, it's a shared world. Just like you try to write for any anthology. It's a shared world. Every magazine, the editor puts together their image of the magazine, and that is a shared world um, in a form. Again, many levels here of different types of shared worlds. So you're, in this one, we're actually going to get down into contracts, too. For those of you who always wondered, well, how do I do a contract between my publishing company and myself? We'll give you samples of it here. You'll actually have samples of contracts in this. So that's really going to be worth a lot of money all by itself so it can save you some money going to, to lawyers um, and so this is this is one of these special things that we're only going to do here we could not figure out how to get it into a regular workshop or do you know we thought about doing shared world one shared world two shared world three and that just we couldn't make it work we've been pounding our heads against the wall on this one for quite a while until we came up with until basically the licensing thing came along and we went, wait a minute, this is a form of licensing. This fits over here in this area. This needs to be, and then it got big, and then we realized, oh my heavens, it's going to take months. For one point, we thought about three months, and we went, no, we can't cram it, and that'll take everybody's time, and that'll get in the way, and holidays, and oh, all the other stuff. We don't want to do that. We want you to learn slowly along and have lots of questions and be able to build your own shared world while this is going on and write for Cave Creek and other things like that. So it's going to be tremendous fun. Tremendous fun. Um, I hope you join us. Um, number one, I can't do any credits on this. I'm sorry. I just can't. Um, this, is, this is going to take me nine months of my life to run through this. And you're going to have time to write and everything else. So I just, I just can't take credits. I apologize. There's so many other things. We've got, uh, seems like a thousand workshops and 30 or 40 or 50 different lectures and new stuff coming on. And we've got new workshops planned for the fall already. You know, I just can't do credits on this from anything. This is a, if you want in, you gotta, you got to buy in. If only a couple people buy in, I will refund money and cancel this. Okay? Um, I will cut off when it gets to a certain place. Chris and I have talked about a certain number of people in this that I won't be able to handle past that number. Um, it's not very many. It's it's in the neighborhood of 10 to 15, and we're still playing in that. If it gets up close to that level, I'll cut it off. Um, and other and then no matter how many, I'm going to cut it on October 1st. I mean, not October 1st. <laughs> that's sort of in the past. November 1st. I'm going to cut this off on November 1st. I'm recording this on the 6th. I'm going to put this up on the 6th of October. So sometime this month is when you want to jump in. So no credits. I apologize for that. I just can't do it. There's so many other things you can use the credits for. Um, number two, the this is going to get cut off You know, either when it hits a certain number, which I'll warn everybody about ahead of time. Like I'll say I only got two spots left. Or something like that and Chris and I will decide that we're kind of wavering between 10 to 15 thinking that that I can do pretty good independent you know feedback and have enough for some collections and anthologies if we invite some big-name pros to come in with the people who are writing for it in this workshop so that seems to be a pretty good pretty good level um, gonna be great fun um, I hope you uh, want to join me for this nine-month ride of shared worlds. Um, I know I'm going to get the question, am I going to do it again? Will I start it again next July when this is over? This is going to go, I'm going to start posting stuff on the 15th of October. It officially starts on the 15th of October and goes to the 15th of July. Am I going to do this again on the 15th of July? No. <laughs> 
no, I will have already done Cave Creek. It will already be in full form. I won't need to go over it again. I'm going to be having fun for this for nine months. I won't need to do it again. This is it. One time, one shot, and it's done. Alrighty. Hope you join me.